Okay, well, were we watching two completely different films? Um, I see a lot of negative press about this film uh, on the views and people that talk about it. And what is wrong with you? It's amazing. It's incredible. I just watched it for the first time last night because I've been put off from buying this just because of negative reviews of the film. But then I watched, I think it was might have been a Mark Commode, who I highly respect as a reviewer, um, sort of looking at this film. And he said it's worth a look. Um, and so I thought, well, okay. And I, I picked it up. And I just thought, you know what, because I've been looking at it for ages to pick it up. And um, every time I got, I'm like, even my son's like, nah, dad's not that good or anything like that. So it sort of like really put me off it. So eventually I, put, I picked it up. A tiny little synopsis on the film. It's about this woman called um, Madison or Emily um, because she's been adopted um, when she was about eight and she's got no real memory of her life before then, of her real parents or anything. Um, and she supposedly um, had a sort of like brother, I believe, called um, Gabrielle. And, it's in, and he's been like an entity that's been following her around and stuff like this. And um, it's, it's, oh my God. And the film is just sort of like, I don't want to give too much away the plot, just in case you haven't seen it. Um, I'll go through the film a little bit and what I think about it. Um, and, and the film sort of really unfolds to this sort of like really devastating sort of end. Um and it, it, and it reminded me of so many little films, so many films. Now, I'm trying to think of the film that it reminded me a lot of. Basket Case. I know you're thinking what you're talking about. But now, in Basket Case, um, there was, uh, about, which is about a lad and his sort of twin brothers attached to him. And they unattach him. So he goes revenging and he's, he's doctor. And it sort of starts off like that. It's a sort of like a revenge sort of movie where the doctor's sort of like that. Um, because it starts off at a, like a sort of um, an institution. Uh, and um, we meet the, these doctors that have separated them. And... Uh, and 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 because they believe it was some sort of uh, malignancy, and um, <laughs> and it turns off, and and the whole film is is, is so bizarre for me to explain it. It really is. You can see I'm really struggling. But yeah, it's got elements of that. It's got elements of Italian horror films in it because it's got a real sort of old school horror film to it, like a low budget sort of feel to it. But although it's, some of the effects are more highly budgeted. But my God, it's so creepy! It, it's absolutely creepy, and like the first, there's three, three thirds of the film. The first third of the film is like a build up of the plot, where we sort of like um, we meet Madison, and we and, and her sort of possession of this entity of um, Gabrielle, who's doing these killings, but she's seen them. So that's what I mean, the Italian, sort of what, like an Argento sort of feel to it. Um, it's almost got that sort of feel to it, um, especially around the sort of first part of the film. And because and, it's in you know, films like Phenomena and stuff like that. And and um, it, it she sees these sort of kills going on, and they, they're really brutal kills, and they're really cool kills. And we see the sort of like entity a bit, and it's, it's really cool looking, really mysterious. And really eerie and scary. And um, there's also like shots of it sort of spying on her from points to points. So there's one part where she looks out of her, her bedroom window because the, the street light's flashing. And down there's a dark figure. And, and it's just like all these sort of really strange things going on. But then it's got some over the top effects uh, um, when sort of room sort of fades away into sort of like dust and sort of water elements and so, which was a little bit over the top I agree with that but if you take that out and just leave it to like the, the, the main character and her entity um, and then we meet other characters in the film like her, her stepsister um, because at this point I don't think she realises she was adopted 
until it was dropped to her. And um, she's been living with an abusive boyfriend called Derek, who's an absolute asshole. And he's like the first kill of the film. Um, he's he's horrible. He he um, because she she's been trying to have a this baby. She wants to have a baby to feel like what it's like to have that sort of connection and bond. But she's had like three miscarriages. But I don't think she has because um, there's one point in this film when they're in the bedroom and they're arguing. And he punches her really hard in the stomach. Uh, and she starts, and she fits her head back onto the wall and leaves a massive dent on the wall. She's bleeding from the back of her head. Obviously, she loses her baby. And um, this bash on the head against the wall is supposedly woken her entity up. Okay. Anyway, she, she sort of explains all this to her sister once she's recovered after the loss of her baby and stuff like this. And, um, yeah, Derek's our first kill, and it's really cool. And, and, and it's cool. And when we see visions of him after the kill, he's in a really weird position. Um, and it's really, really cool. Um, and then we meet the sort of like the, the two detectives, and the, she's trying to. Um, Madison's trying to explain to them that she is seeing these these kills happen like she's almost there and then they, they think she's just being all wacky and he describes about this other kill she's seen of this man in the bed uh, when he gets sort of like this um, blade straight to his throat in his face which you see it's really gruesome um, really cool and um, and then they go to his place and see find him dead and all this sort of stuff um, and then they start thinking it's her and all this sort of thing. And her, her sister, her stepsister, starting to build a sort of relationship with the police officer. Because one police officer sort of believes them and the female police officer doesn't. And as things sort of unfold, um, uh, her stepmother gets involved because she tries to find out about her previous parents She's trying to find out what's going on and who this Gabrielle is. And then the sort of second, all this sort of bits in the second part of the film, the sort of um, investigational sort of part of that, which sort of slows the film down because it starts off in a sort of, the first sort of 30 minutes, 40 minutes of like quite eerie and spooky and these deaths happening and quite creepy um, and playing out a little bit like an Italian horror. And then it gets to a sort of slower part where we've got the sort of investigations going on and when she's sort of trying to discover what's actually happening and who she is and what she is and uh, who um, all this sort of thing is and trying to get answers from her mum. And her mum plays a whole old VHS tapes of her when she was really little and she's sort of like got this sort of what they think is a pretend friend she's talking to. And then the thing happens in the third part the thing happens and the film changes and it turns into an an all out mind bending uh gore fest and it it's just uh wow and it's just sort of like wow 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 and it's just sort of like kept them um, going on and on and on uh, cuz I'm not going to tell you what happened and I'm not going to tell you uh, anything else about the film because you need to watch it and find out i think it's amazing i think it was a really cool film i'm really not sure why people are so down on it um yes it's got some cgi on it yes it's a little predictable through the film but i kind of wanted that a little bit um and i don't mind that i don't have any expectations on films and stuff like that i went into this blind uh, only I went into this on negative reviews, and I came out loving it. Uh, it felt like I had three movies in one. Uh, I, ha I had like an Italian sort of film, and then I had like a sort of spooky investigation film, and then I ended up with this almost like um, extreme horror bit at the end. And it was like, wow, that was a ride, and it, well, it really was. Um, and it, it, I think because it, it was directed by James Wan, who's the director of the uh, Conjuring films, and I think maybe um, 
you know, because he, he's quite into the jump scares and stuff like this. And there's a few of that, those in here, but they're different. And this is more, oh, it's just more out there. And it's just more weird than The Conjuring and stuff like that. I don't get me wrong, you know, I've done the reviews of The Conjuring films. I enjoyed them to a point. They're very samey, very predictable. But this was something completely different. And it just sort of like, I just went on, when I stopped watching it, I, I was, um, I went to I went to bed and I was just laying awake for ages thinking about what I just watched. And that left an impression. I just thought, wow, this is really cool. And I think so many people have been down on this and I've put it, up, put it off so long. And I really enjoyed the film just because it had a little bit of a old school feel to it. Um, like an old school horror film, including films like, you know, like, um, that 90s with the boogeyman and and stuff like that it had all sort of elements of films that i've loved in the past into it but then it was just then the thing happens and it just changes and it's just like oh my god what have i just watched it absolutely fantastic awesome film nine out of ten um absolutely brilliant i can't give it a 10 out of 10 because the film was a little unstable like i said it started off really good um, and quite um, eerie and some really cool kills and we had the low bit for about half an hour to sort of like 35 minutes and then we had like the 35 minutes at the end when the film sort of really kicked off um, so it just didn't it was a little unstable so if it would have been um, a bit more um, paced well I think I probably would have given it a 10 um, but it, the pacing was a little bit off. But it was a really, really cool film. I really recommend it if you've not seen it. Don't listen to go by. Re this is the thing. When you listen to people's reviews, including mine, my review, you might go ahead and watch it and say, what are you talking about? It's rubbish. But you might go and watch it. This is the best film I've ever seen. Don't always have your own opinion. Always go into a film sort of blind. Um in a sense, and, and always going to with no expectations. If you've got expectations of this amazing film you're going to watch, because you've seen a trailer, the trailer looks amazing, whatever, um, don't do it. Just don't do it. You will come out disappointed. I see so many reviewers that what, review films, and they say, oh, well, I was really disappointed because I was expecting this and this and this. And I'm like, well, don't expect it then. Don't go in expecting anything. Just go in with a blind... Go in with some nice treats or whatever, a nice drink, and just go in to watch a cool film, and then let it take you on its own ride. And it did. This took me on on its own ride. I didn't have any expectations on it, say because all pretty much most reviews I've seen have been negative. A few have been, yeah, it's quite good, it's quite cool. And then I saw I saw Mark Camos, and he 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 gave it a sort of good review saying no it's definitely worth watching and, and watching and uh, i i loved it really did i can't speak highly enough of it uh really like it malignant nine out of ten and if you guys seen it let me know down below if you have yes it's not going to be a boss cup of tea yes it does have some silly cg cgi um when they when she's going through her sort of imaginary sort of um Pop. But what that's trying to do is separate her from normal thinking, I, I believe, and it puts her into the sort of thought and brain of this entity. And um, I keep calling it an entity, but is it? Find out and watch. Um, and uh, it just sort of like that's the there's some bits in there that will put people off, and some of the acting is not up there, you know. But I like that. I like poor acting. Like, there was a scene when she's in the, the bedroom with her sister, and she's been staring at the wall where the um, her head mark is when her, her, her husband punched her, Derek, and she left a big dent in the wall. And um, she's standing there explaining, oh, that was Derek did that, you know, when he, when he pushed her, when he hit me, and all this sort of thing. And I just thought that was a little bit thing. And the relationship build up between the detective and the stepsister, I thought there's no point in that. Didn't need it. Um it was a that was a bit bit daft, but I think it was there for a bit of light sort of um 
a light storyline to take you away from all the sort of dark storylines that are going on. But I think that's what probably, little things like that probably put people off the film because they like that darkness. They like that, and maybe they wanted it dark all the way through. Um, but I, I think that's what James Wan was trying to do, which is trying to break it up a bit and bring more characters sort of like development into the film. So you weren't all just based around Madison. Um, I say Emily because Emily was the name she was given before um, she uh, uh, was adopted. And she was told this by her entity who talks to her through radios and stuff like that and media. Um, and it talks to some of the other people as well, eventually in the film through mobile phones and stuff like this. It's so bizarre, but so wonderful. Really cool. Do recommend it, guys. Guys, thanks so much for watching this review. Till my next one, please check out some horror channels. Check out Horror Hands, Horror Geek, Man V Film, RS Design, Pizzlewell. I am Ice Lord, Cat Watches Horror Movies, Grumpy Andrew's Haunted House. And a massive shout out to the lad. Till next time, look after yourselves. Look after one another. And I really hope I'll see you all soon.